Hey everyone, we are back. Uh, <laughs> apparently I have a lot of traffic behind me waiting for this spot. Uh, Carl Sandberg, you have to get early in the morning, otherwise uh, you will not get a spot. Uh, you can park across the street, however, be mindful of when um, when the playhouse is uh, going on, because you will be towed uh, if they have a play that needs to go on. As you can see here, this is just bad map data. Um, this is a one-way road. I'm going to point this out basically every time we do this route. Um, but I'm going to go here. It needs to take a right to maintain our route. Put every route here and then we'll enable full self-driving. Uh, we're probably not going to make this, are we? Now turn left onto Greenville Highway. No. Okay. So that's a disengaging because it needs to be right here. It always seems to want to get in the right turn lane right here because this is such a weird intersection that it, it just doesn't realize there's two lanes right here. So. That was definitely a disengagement and it's made that mistake before. So that's one of those mistakes we are looking for it to fix. So that was good. We got this uh, traffic director in the road again. Gave room, so that's good. Again, it doesn't read hand gestures though. So it has to be able to read those hand gestures. Uh, for, for any full self driving, like that, that's the thing. Like, maybe they could have restrictive level four full self driving with that, like, like kind of like how Waymo does, um, where like someone just kind of remotes in and like looks at what's going on. I'm not sure they have the compute power in this car to be able to do that. Maybe they do, um, maybe they don't. I don't know, but um, I've but we'll see. Maybe that's not that hard, relatively speaking, to just view hand gestures. Maybe it's extremely hard. But that has to happen for a level four self-driving, in my opinion. Level three, it does not. If it's level three, the check, hey, does a person in the road by a cubit take over? Uh, and then I can decide what to do from there. But the, yeah, so that that's basically what we're doing for that. I braked a little bit for that car. It braked a little bit for that motorcycle right there. See how it does this roundabout? I think that was a Volvo electric car right there. Pretty sure. Starting to see more and more often. Curious how it does this. So I, I looked at the law and I'm pretty sure, um, I think you have to um, do a turn single going into the roundabout in North Carolina and then exiting the roundabout. So that was a good roundabout. It, it oh yeah, it, it did it without me having, having to press the accelerator, I'm pretty sure. Maybe I just did it subconsciously, but I'm pretty sure it did, which is what we want. Uh, it needs to be able to go through yields on its own. It needs to have that level of confidence that it can go through yields without me having to intervene. What we're actually gonna do here, I think is stop at Ace Hardware real quick um, and grab something, but that's just right off the road. We'll be back on right after. So I can tell it's given additional distance to this motorcycle in front of me. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's new with this version. And so we are stopping here for Ace, but that's an, that's an interesting observation uh, that it gives more room for motorcyclists. Uh, I'm curious if we'll find any other things. I've noticed it is smoother in terms of like adjusting distance between cars. So that is improved in this version as well. But uh, I'll see you once we're back out. Yeah, we are back on the road, everyone. Let's see how it does on this section. This is probably the most difficult spot uh, for the entire day of test. Um, arguably the second, but um, we'll see. Because uh, it has to get into a very narrow turn lane. And then a lot of times that turn lane doesn't it has a flashing yellow light, has a green light with no cars, so it might actually do really well. We'll see. Now turn left onto White Street. Right here. See, this is. 
No. Okay, so that's the disengagement. Hey, hey, that's what happened last version. It just was gonna completely miss it. So that's an improvement, though. It actually went through the yellow light without constantly braking. Um, so that's an improvement. Um, it might not have uh, saw the turn, gotten the turn lane soon enough, but it did uh, go through the blinking yellow light correctly. Uh, well, better. It, it wasn't perfect, but it was better. Let's we'll see how it does on this turn here. That was good. A little bit wide, but good. That's honestly, I've turned that wide myself, so it wasn't anything like super bad or anything, but still room for improvement. I expect, my opinion is the car in every, nearly every way possible, like 99.9% .9 of scenarios, should drive better than a human. There, there's no excuse for it not to, in my opinion. It's just, it has superior processing, superior, you know, vision of the road. It should be able to drive better than a human. Now turn left onto South Washington Street. So that quickly jerked in the turn, <coughs> turn lane. Um, yeah, look at the hesitancy. <laughs> um, but it made it. Uh, still a lot of he hesitancy for some reason. I think it was that person that was walking back there. So this is uh, the destination here. And um, we're not done with this video yet. Stop in here to take a look real quick. And then we are going to go down Main Street. And this is all kind of like a middle-sized town um, driving experience. We're going to see how that does. Okay, everyone. We are back and ready to go. Oh, hold up. Wholesale driving is not booted up yet. This happens from time to time. This is taking a little bit longer than normal. There we go. <laughs> I didn't, rec I didn't realize it wasn't booted up yet. Why is it stopped next to this car? Okay. Um, well, clearly the map, that was a disengagement. It hit, we tried to go straight for a right turn. Okay. I'm sure the person behind me is like, well, what are you doing? <laughs> Um, interesting. Some, sometimes I feel like waypoints mess it up. Like, I almost feel like it wants to go to this one first. I don't, I don't know. But I definitely, definitely get that indication sometimes. It sees those people, it thinks they're walking in the street, and they're not. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna push it forward. Just a little tap on the accelerator is all. A little bit of hesitancy getting in the lane there. We need to, I wish when you click on it, you had a cancel option. What, what are you doing? <laughs> I hate this traffic data. We're gonna add another. I wish you could just paint a route, to be honest. It's like, go this way. <laughs> Um, it's not even that much traffic on here. This is actually pretty low traffic for um, Main Street. And yeah, and so I just, I guess, wanted to go back on the main road and go there. Get back on. But we want to go down Main Street just to see how it affects. Like, are there any open doors? If you look at Dirty Tesla's video, I'd be surprised if you haven't already. Um, that he has caught a door being open on the street and it shows it on screen. Um, and it's really interesting how they've, they've added stuff like that um, to, to the version. You'll start seeing more intricacies. Yeah, <laughs> my pronunciation is terrible. But um, you'll start seeing more of that type of stuff as with each new version. And we'll keep on adding those little little features. Destination is on the right. Okay, now I gotta cancel this one. Okay. 
a blinker. Cool, nice car. I don't know if it's reading, I don't think it's reading that sign yet. It's probably just yielding to it automatically. Now turn right on to 6th Avenue East. I'm gonna have to disengage if my car tries to pull forward. Um, because of this car right here. They can see it pulling out. Good, and it started going immediately. That's what we want to see. Oh no, it's gonna... Okay, well... No, but he can't see it right on red. No, turn right on red, so let's go give a camera button. I'm not even going to re-enable it because it's going to mess up again. Um, but all we're going to do is just turn right. This route is wrong. Like, this pisses me off with the map data. I'm like, I want to go to this road, not this road. I'm not sure what they have going on with the nav data or how it navigates. But it has a mind of its own and it's really frustrating. Like, it, it thinks that I want to go here. You, there's no left turn here. You ha the, there's a church parking lot you can turn in right here, but that's it. Otherwise, there's a one-way road. And this is only a one-way road. And this is um, obviously two-lane right here. But it, this is one way here, and this is not actually a road. You can't go down that anymore. It yeah, used to be. Okay, that was not expected. Not expected at all. Um, just... Well, that's cool, I guess. Um, yeah, uh, so a great, in great final ending. Um, okay, well, I need to review that video. Uh, but yeah, everyone, uh, this one, not better. Uh, I guess not not the best it's ever done for sure it could have done better uh, a couple a couple things were better but most was not uh, especially that last bit I don't know it, that's the second time it's done that it's wanted to go forward it's wanted to go straight instead of turn and I'm not sure where that's coming from something to do on this so uh, keep watch for that if you get this version that might be something they'll fix and then point and release like keep watch for that. Um, not gonna, not gonna not share any of this. This is the raw experience. I'm not gonna hide it. Like um, there are testers who will hide it. You probably know who they are. Um, but um, yeah, if they're not showing the bad. Then they're not showing everything. Cause there's always some issues. Uh, it doesn't matter uh, where you are, California or here. There's always some issues. I mean, they might only show the good. But yeah. Um, hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.